As the US elections approach closer, the American liberal media is learning from the mistakes that it made during the 2016 US presidential elections. After predicting a massive lead for the Democratic presidential nominee, Joe Biden, the pro-Democrat media, including CNN, has now started showing a spike in US President Donald Trump's approval ratings, indicating that Trump is closing in on Biden and that Democrats must remain on their toes. With CNN's sudden hike, Donald Trump himself is surprised. He tweeted, What's with CNN polls increasing me by 10 points in a short period of time? Maybe they want to take over from Fox News. Although Trump is trolling the CNN, the American liberal media is very carefully building a perception here that can alter the upcoming US presidential elections on November the 3rd. It seems that CNN has learned its lessons from the previous presidential polls when it had predicted a landslide victory for the Democrat nominee Hillary Clinton. Its predictions had struck a sense of complacency in the minds of the Democrat voters while creating a sense of fear amongst the Republican voters. Consequently, Republicans voted heavily for Trump while many blue voters let it go, which had led to a shocking defeat for Hillary Clinton in the last presidential elections. This time around, the liberal media is following a different strategy by instilling a sense of complacency amongst the Republican voters to eliminate Trump's silent majority. At the same time, the liberal media's message to the Democrats is loud and clear. Get your act together or else Trump will come back for a second term. The idea is to bring down the voter turnout among the Republicans and subsequently shoot up the voter turnout amongst the usually unenthusiastic blue voters in the coming elections. The changing trend can be particularly significant in the 12 swing states, which flip between red and blue in each election. Thus, these swing states include Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Maine, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Wisconsin. And all these states are crucial in deciding who will win a four-year term at the White House. Within the US, there are 50 states out of which 15 to 20 are slated to go to Republicans and Democrats each. The swing states will therefore make all the difference. In the US, what the CNN describes as the narrowing margin between Biden and Trump is becoming a major talking point. Both the Democrats and Republicans are bound to get influenced by this change in media perception. The United States must realize that there is a strong undercurrent behind Trump's rising approval ratings. The US should take a lesson from India's general elections in 2004, 2014 and 2019. Much like the changing opinion of Trump's popularity even amongst the fiercest of his critics like the CNN, the former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, was also being projected as a frontrunner ahead of the 2004 Lok Sabha or the lower house polls. Most of the opinion polls from all sections of media had then predicted the victory of Vajpayee-led BGP government. Vajpayee himself was a visionary right-wing leader who had lent political and economic stability to India. There was no reason why Vajpayee should have lost the 2004 polls except the enthusiastic opinion polls that set in a complacency syndrome in the core BGP vote base. Consequently, the 2004 general elections in India had witnessed a very low voter turnout at 58% and a major jolt struck the Indian right wing. Vajpayee had lost the election to what would come to be known as one of the most corrupt political parties in the world, the Indian National Congress. When the country again went to polls in the year 2014, a clear majority wasn't being predicted for yet another charismatic BJP leader, Narendra Modi, the present Prime Minister of India. However, most of the liberal media outlets predicted that Modi would be the front-runner in the prime ministerial race. Still, the electorate did not become complacent this time as its fury against the incumbent regime was peaking. Therefore, PM Modi was voted in with a historic mandate in 2014 for his first term. Five years later, when India again went to polls, a big victory was being predicted for PM Modi, much like a landslide win was being predicted for the former Prime Minister of India, Vajpayee, in the year 2004. But the Indian electorate didn't let the liberal media fool them again, even as Modi's critics praised him. The memory of 2004 haunted BGP voters and they turned up in big numbers with a record turnout of 67.11% in 2019. 
India did not wish to lose a development oriented visionary yet again and did not repeat the mistake that was made in 2004. Thus, PM Modi returned with an even bigger mandate than the one he got in 2014. American voters must not allow themselves to get overwhelmed by what the liberal media has to say and learn from BJP's defeat in India in 2004. Trump has a silent majority and the popular sentiment is in his favor. But it would not translate into anything unless the Republican supporters exercise their franchise in the upcoming elections.